Hi everybody. Well, haven't made a video in a while. I'm sitting here um, waiting to pick up my youngest. Um, I know I started this channel with wanting to do stuff with reselling and stuff like that. Um, I'm still doing that, but I'm doing it very slowly. Um, I'm going to turn this channel into like a vlog, but also giving you tips on reselling, on doing other side income things. Um, and yeah, just trying to be happy, bringing you on my journey to try and be happy. Um, if I can figure out what that is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, right now I want to do a little segment called what the fork do I do now? Yeah. What the fork do I do now? A lot of people on here, um, your parents, I'm a parent. I have three girls. Um, I also have a lot of young adults who have come into my life that uh, come to me and my husband for advice, for information, and we actually have three of them living at our house right now um, so that they can get on their feet and get their apartment going and so they won't be living on the streets. Um, so yeah, some people call me crazy because I have these young adults living at my house, but I am not going to let them be on the street working on minimum wage and having to come up with three thousand dollars to rent an apartment um i'm not gonna do it i'm just not that type of person um so anyway what the fork do i do now as a parent you always try and support your kids you try to find out sorry if i get a little bit emotional this is been building with me you try and support them with what they want to do, with their strengths. You try and help them with their weaknesses to get better and become better people and become productive members of society. There we go. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, um, you had to get good grades and, you know, you had to do the right thing, dress the right way, think the right way. You need to get the best grades. You can go to the good school and go and, and, and do the best that you can because if you get bad grades, then you're just not a good person. Well, yeah, I made straight A's. Yeah, I was on the honor roll. Yeah, I was an overachiever all of my life. When I had kids, I wanted the same for them. I wanted better for them. But that's just not the way it is anymore. Um, I know a lot of people who have master's degrees, have doctorates, and are miserable with their lives. I myself have a master's degree, and I started my master's, and I just asked myself, why? So now I'm in this dilemma with the change of times. How do you support your kids? How do I support my kids with the way I was raised, thinking that those are the expectations? Well, I've been watching a lot of Gary Vee, and I've been watching a lot of Rake and Profit, and, you know, Tony Robbins, and they make more and more sense to me every day. I am miserable at work. That's long. <laughs> a lot of you know that, which is why I'm trying to do the side hustles that I'm doing. Um, and I don't want my children to be miserable. I, I want them to choose something that's going to make them happy. And there's my dilemma. I'm supporting my kids in anything they want to do. My oldest was a drum major her junior, junior and senior year, but she's also very sick. Um, my middle child, Samantha, she is a wonderful dancer. She doesn't do it anymore. She was wonderful in color guard, um, probably up for captain, but her ankle went bad and now she's having issues also. So I want to support her in anything that she wants to do. My youngest, and this is where the problem comes. I'm sorry if I'm rambling, guys, but let me get to my point here. My youngest, I have supported her in anything she wants to do. She wanted to start doing slime about a year before slime became popular. You know, now it's everywhere. But a year before it even hit mainstream, she was asking me to make that stuff and she was selling it at school. So she's a little entrepreneur herself. I got her all the stuff. 
she did it for about two weeks and stopped. She wanted to do art stuff and she started doing art stuff and she has a very unique brain. She won first place for her grade in her district for her art project that she did. And I was beyond proud. So I was supporting her in that. And then she didn't join art again. So I asked her what I could do, what else she wanted to do. She said she didn't join art class because they don't do the type of art that she wants. She wants to do clay and sculpting. So I got her that stuff. It's sitting in the corner of her closet. She joined softball recently. So I went and got her a glove at the Goodwill and some balls at the Goodwill. Saw her at a few games. She had a blast. She was doing great. I went and got her a bat because she needs to practice hitting. Last week, she was told that she couldn't practice anymore because she doesn't, she didn't make the proper grades. Rebecca falls a little bit behind, but that's where this dilemma comes. <clears throat> she needs help with school, but I think she's smarter than that. I think she's lazy. Maybe she's not. I see potential in my daughter that maybe she doesn't see in herself. But we all do as parents, don't we? Yeah. So now asking her this morning if she was going to join softball again, it's an I don't know. So, she's 13, about to start high school. I have supported financially, emotionally, anything that my children want to do. But lately... All I do is see them sitting watching YouTubers like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. And they have their own unique visions. They are so unique in their own ways and they have wonderful creative imaginations. And I try and support it in any way I can and they're just there. So I'm asking you guys, Am I overreacting? Do I need to do something else? Am I doing too much? What the fork would you do? Tell me that. What the fork would you do now? Leave your comments below and I'm going to start posting a little bit more. I know it's a little personal vlog, but I know there's other people out there who love their kids, who want the best for them, better than they had. And I know I'm not alone out there, so... If you guys need comments or if you need support, if you want to leave an opinion, go ahead. You guys, I'm called the cherry picker because I want to pick the sweet things in life. But my husband also told me not all cherries are sweet. Sometimes there's some sourness in life and you just have to deal with it. And try and make the best of it and that is my goal is to try and make the best of every day and I hope you guys are too so see you in my next video if you think of anybody that might need to hear this so that they know that they're not alone um, share this video let them know what's going on I'm gonna be sharing a little bit more I'm gonna try different methods with my daughter maybe it'll work if you have any different methods let me know Okay. Have a great day, guys. Bye.